Is Meghan Markle attempting to manipulate King Charles into granting her the title of Princess of Wales? Reports suggest she has some outrageous demands regarding Princess Catherine's title, stating she would consider returning to the UK with Archie and Lilibet under certain conditions. Additionally, she reportedly desires a grand castle and a significant amount of money. According to Royal Insiders, Meghan's latest ultimatum for a grand return includes taking over Princess Catherine's role, which entails a high level of public attention and, of course, the title of Princess of Wales. What better way to re-enter the UK than by assuming the position of someone she is allegedly envious of? Royal expert Angela Levin has revealed that Meghan will not return unless she receives the title and its associated benefits, prompting speculation about her jealousy towards Princess Catherine. Levin claims Meghan is not only after a prestigious title but also a luxurious home and substantial financial support. This is surprising, considering Meghan previously expressed dissatisfaction over not being compensated for her royal duties. Meanwhile, Prince Harry appears to be seeking advice from former aides on how to re-establish himself within the royal family, suggesting that life in sunny California isn't going as smoothly as they had hoped. All those dreams of independence, lucrative Netflix deals, and multi-million dollar interviews may not be as satisfying as they imagined. Royal commentator Angela Levin has criticized Harry for wanting to play the victim while still expecting the royal family to embrace him again. According to Levin, the late Queen Elizabeth II was very clear about the rules. No half-in, half-out royals. Yet, Harry seems to have overlooked that message, still hoping for a balance between his old life and newfound independence. As for Meghan and her aspirations to become Princess of Wales, is she genuinely attempting to pressure King Charles into granting her Princess Catherine's title for a grand comeback? Reports suggest at least a hint of that intention. Levin quickly points out that Meghan's desire to take Catherine's place stems from jealousy. Her ambitions of becoming a global brand and influencer have faced significant obstacles, leading her to target the one role that could provide the fame and recognition she longs for. Let's not forget that Meghan and Harry once imagined themselves as royals without the mundane responsibilities, traveling the world, being adored, and influencing global matters. Meghan's love for the limelight is evident, while Harry seems to yearn for the simplicity of royal life. According to Levin, Meghan has no intention of returning to the UK unless her status sees a significant upgrade. As for Prince William, he reportedly has no interest in Meghan's plans and has already prohibited Harry from rejoining the royal family. It seems unlikely that Meghan's hopes of exchanging titles with Catherine will gain any traction. William is focused on his royal duties and has little patience for Harry's victim narrative or Meghan's unreasonable demands. Levin also highlights that Meghan's public relations issues are mounting as losing another head of PR is another setback for her global brand aspirations. Meanwhile, royal staff members who have dedicated decades of service continue their loyalty, making Meghan's frequent employee turnover appear even more questionable. With the California project facing challenges and a return to the UK hindered by royal resistance, one must wonder what the future holds for this dynamic duo. If Meghan cannot attain the title of Princess of Wales and the royal lifestyle she desires, we can only speculate about their next move.